So this is another video about indices or powers um, and in this case we're going to work out a missing thing inside the powers. You'll see what I mean. Basically I'm going to be working out this x or this x. It's a little bit different to our other indice videos. Uh, there is a even more advanced way of doing what we're about to do using logarithms but that's for a much more advanced students. Or maybe a little bit more advanced students. Anyway, that's a different method altogether. And so we're not going to be talking about that. Let's see what we are going to talk about. So we're going to solve this uh, little equation here. And we're going to repeat the equation there. And so what is the trick? The basic trick is this. You have to turn the 8 and the 4 into something with the same base. So what do I mean by that? Um, let's say I know that 8 and 4 can be both made of 2 to the power something. So 8 is 2 cubed and 4 is 2 squared. So once I've done that there's something else I can do. Uh, so you can see the x plus 2 stays there as a power, the x is still there. I've just replaced the 4 with 2 squared, which is the same thing. 4 equals 2 squared and 8 equals 2 cubed, right? So just replaced, replaced each of those. Uh, and what I can do then, you can see where, hopefully you can see where it's going towards. Um, I've got a power of a power situation here. I've got a power outside something that already has a power. So this bit means 2 cubed or to the power x plus 2. That x plus 2 is applied, both the x and the 2 is what I mean, is applied to this, not just the x. Okay, you can't have the plus 2 just lingering around up there, it doesn't make sense. So that means you have to do 3 times the x and the 2. So 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 2 is 6. That's using the power of a power rule, which we talked about earlier on. You can see these give signs, so it just means that, uh, you know, from this is fo it follows on that this is also true, and it also follows on this other stuff is true. So, anyway, so uh, we scroll down a bit more. Oh, sorry, what about this? You got two times x going on because you've got power of power situation there as well. So you've got this is equal to this. Now we've got to the very important bit, which is if you've got the bases the same, the ba base over here is 2, the base over there is 2 as well, then the powers must be the same because that's the only way this can equal that. You know, you can't say, say imagine this was equal to 5 and this was equal to 3. You can't say 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 2 to the power of 3. It doesn't make sense. So that means this power must be the same as this power. And so, basically what we're saying is 3x plus 6 is equal to 2x. This 3x plus 6 is equal to that 2x. And then afterwards, it's a very simple case of rearranging the equation and working out what x is. So you should know, if you're doing this advanced level in DC work, how to work out simple equations like this. But I'll just tell you just in case. Bring the 2x over to that side and it becomes a minus 2x. And bring that plus 6 to over to this side becomes a minus 6. So on this side what you have is a 3x sorry 3x minus a 2x which is x and it will equal the minus 6 which has been brought to this side and that's all there is to it. 